Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wade Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Enyo, the new documentary from director Giuseppe Tornatore, and this focuses on the life, career, and incredible legendary work of composer Enyo Morcone. And this film, clocking it in almost two hours and 40 minutes, is an extremely well-paced, beautifully crafted, and just engrossing and impactful documentary that never feels slow, never feels like it's dragging. You are dropped into the life, to the experiences of this legendary composer. Morricone is focused on for a great majority of this film. You see him expressing his process, the way he developed relationships, but most importantly, how he came about this music, how it spoke to him, how he realized it, and just the way that you get to watch this maestro, this legend, this just one of the greatest composers of all time, being able to do his craft, processing the songwriting, you feel like you're tearing the curtain back on something so secret and it feels so impactful and you learn so much about the world of music and composing and film. It's one of those things where this film certainly is a linear story of Morricone's career. It's from start to finish, you hit all the main points, but it transcends that. It never feels like it's just that. It never feels like it's just a by-the-numbers structured documentary. It's so beautifully shot. The archival footage is amazing. The way that it's edited and works in the music, I had tears in my eyes. I had chills throughout this film. It's because how perfect that music is that Ennio Morricone created and how fantastic... The storytelling is from Tornatore and how well this film mixes the music, has such great editing, and brings out every bit of emotion possible from performing these songs. This is an auditory and visual experience that really takes you deep inside the experiences and the creative process of Morricone. And I've been so anxiously awaiting this film ever since I heard about it. And, you know, this film, I think, first started being shown around in Europe in 2021 and finally released in the United States in 2024 and quickly has become my number one film of the year because this is a special, towering tribute to a man who completely changed the face and the sound of film composition. It's something that, if you're a cinephile, if you love music, this is must-see. It's so well-paced. This never feels boring. It never feels like it drags, and you get through an hour and 30, uh, two hours and 36 minutes of just watching a genius do his thing and s listening to a bunch of commentators from Clint Eastwood to Hans Zimmer to Tarantino to Malik to Wong Kar Wai, John Williams and Dario Argento, Quincy Jones, Bernardo Bartolucci, and so many more that come together and express just how impactful, inspiring, and legendary this figure is. This is how you make a Bio, uh, biographical documentary and this is how you really find what was so impressive and impactful about that figure. But those are my thoughts on Enyo. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.